Hello dear students, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will see how to prepare dilutions for UV and HPLC. When you are doing the practical, you will come across these dilutions. Uh, so very well known that is stock solution. So it may be stock solution 1, stock solution 2. And after that, you need to prepare some dilutions at the end for optical density or for HPLC run. So how to prepare all these uh, solutions in PPM, I will let you know what is the process for it. Like the video and subscribe the channel. My channel contains lot many educational videos. So for more updates, please subscribe it. Now we will say how to prepare and dilutions for UV and HPLC. For this purpose, you should know some relationships. So relationship in sense like uh, 1 milligram it is equivalent to 10 raised to 3 microgram or it is equivalent to 10 raised to minus 3 gram right so this is the relationship that you should know and usually when we do and dilutions it does not start with a gram so I have neglected this part little bit and I have started from a milligram. So uh, 10 raised to 6 uh, microgram, it means 1 gram. So remember this, I have written in the negative way, here it is positive. So I have kept a uh, center uh, that is 1 milligram, it is equivalent to 10 raised to 3 microgram. And PPM, the PPM it means part per million, part per million. And part per million, it means that microgram per ml right? microgram per ml so there are six zeros uh, so that is why it is million in millions microgram per ml and if we see that uh, now how to prepare the dilutions like uh, firstly we need to prepare in some stock solution so how to prepare that stock solution usually for an hundred uh, microgram per ml or 100 ppm solution what we do 100 milligram we dissolve in 100 ml of solvent and this it will give a solution of an 1 milligram per ml how 1 milligram is this 0 and 0 it will cut down and it will become 1 milligram per ml solution and we know that the relationship between 1 milligram it is equivalent to 10 raised to 3 microgram. So the solution it will become 10 raised to 3 or I will write 1000 microgram per ml. So this is the solution that we get when we dissolve 100 milligram into 100 ml. So 1000 milligram microgram per ml and microgram and ppm they are same. Right, part per million. So this solution it becomes 1000 ppm solution. So I will write it as a stock 1, right, stock 1 and now stock 2. So whatever the target we are achieving it is 100 ppm solution. Now how to prepare that 100 ppm solution? So for that purpose what we need to do is that uh, so I will take here from this 100 ml uh, so we have dissolved 100 milligram in 100 ml so do this dilutions in volumetric flask only and you can take this quantity uh, in a small measurements also then you will get some uh, direct 100 ppm solution but my uh, suggestion will be uh, don't make such quantity and very small because balance are not so sensitive for a less measurement so have a quantity at least 100 milligram and dissolve in 100 ml of a solvent and also don't do like that 100 milligram is dissolved in 10 ml you will get 100 ppm solution but the problem is that sometimes it happens that uh, all the compound means all the solute it is not soluble in water it may happen when the solubility is less so best way is that 100 milligram in 100 ml and you will get first stock solution that is 1000 ppm solution so from this from this what we, what i need to do is that so i will take 1 ml 1 ml of this solution and now I will dissolve in 10 ml. Makeup volume should be in 10 ml. Remember that makeup volume it should be in 10 ml. Suppose approximately it is 1 ml uh, and it, it, it will become an almost 9 ml. So do all these dilutions in volumetric flask only. 
1 ml uh, is dissolved in 10 ml of a solution now the concentration here it becomes that so how to write this concentration how to write this concentration is that uh, so this one it has been dissolved in 10 ml 1 ml it has been dissolved in 10 ml and so this ml ml i will write here and concentration so concentration it was 1000 ppm so i will write this concentration it was 1000 ppm and now uh, do the calculations and it becomes the ml ml it will cut because it's a ratio and it will become the concentration final it will become 1000 ppm now from this uh, we have to prepare some uh, now this it is in stock solution number two now from this we have to prepare a dilutions for an ab absorbance reading or for an hplc run uh, now i have targeted the, the i have targeted the solutions which are like uh, so first solution it is often 2 ppm 2 ppm so i need a concentration of it 2 ppm so for this purpose what i will do in this from this 10 ml i will pipe it out so i will pipe it out 0.2 ml and 0.2 ml i will dissolve in 10 ml do this again in a volumetric flask and makeup volume should be at 10 ml so for now i will do the calculations say so like 0.2 i have taken and i have dissolved in uh, 10 ml so ml ml it will get uh, cancelled and the concentration it was 1000 uh, ppm right so here ml ml it will get cancelled and 1 0 of 10 and now it becomes 2 ppm solution similarly for 4 ppm solution what i need to do is that for 4 ppm so what i will do from this 10 ml uh, i have taken 0.2 and dissolved in 10 ml for 4 ppm i will uh, remove 4 ml and i will dissolve in 10 ml and so the concentration it becomes 10 100 ppm solution it was and it becomes 4 ppm solution right so similar way for 0.6 it will be like uh, 0.6 unit to uh, remove from it and dissolved in 10 ml and concentration it was 100 ppm of the original solution stock number 2 so it becomes 6 ppm so in this way like for 10 ppm i would write here 10 ppm directly so for 10 ppm i need to take 1 ml and i need to dissolve in 100 ml so 1 uh, 1 divided by 10 so 1 i have dissolved in 10 ml and the concentration it was 100 ppm and now the solution it becomes an 10 ppm solution so this is how you can prepare the dilutions for uv and hplc hope so you understood it if you are having any doubt you can comment me in a comment box I will definitely answer it. Thank you for watching the video.